Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be doing a webtoon reading of the Remarried Empress, episode 34, 35, and 36. Let's get started. Alright guys, we're gonna do a recap of episode 33 of the Remarried Empress. So what we kind of found out the last three episodes is that one, Rasha got stabbed by Viscount Landre. Who is Viscount Landre? We're assuming, I'm assuming, that he is, uh, what's her name? Duchess Tuania's secret lover? I don't know. Um, it just seems like it. But no, he's like a very lo loyal servant to her, I guess. I don't know. Um, the only reason why he was so worked up and built the courage to stab Rasha, aka Trasha, um, was because Rasha was kind of like behind this whole puppet playing with Duke Twania, pretty much convincing him that one, the baby, the child that he may have with Duchess Twania is might not be his child. It might be his brother's child who passed away. And that she, Duchess Twania, is actually having a love affair with another person. I believe Duke Erge is the rumor was. And then, of course, with all these stuff piling up, um, and the fact that they he wasn't able to have another child after that, it kind of like made him super jealous. And, you know, so he pretty much filed for a divorce against Duchess Twania, which pretty much triggered Viscount Landre. Viscount Landre pretty much isolated Rasha and stabbed her. Do I have a hunch that maybe he didn't really stab her and it's actually a setup. Hmm. But then after that, after she's in a coma, the doctor pretty much announced that she's actually pregnant. So with that being said, even though Rasha is a servant, a you know runaway slave, and she doesn't really have hold a much of a title other than being the emperor's lover, um, you know Viscount Landre is in trouble. But then now she's holding, she's carrying the first child to the emperor. So now he's going to be in huge trouble, meaning like he could actually be either executed or banished from society pretty much. And so now we have Duchess Twania running in to pretty much plead to the Empress for help, for to pardon, you know, Viscount Landry's life. But we don't know until we start episode 34. Let's go. The Viscount won't be able to get a trial, your majesty. What do you mean? Why not? This wouldn't have anything to do with Rasha's pregnancy, would it? It is indeed because she is pregnant with his child. I'm told his majesty plans to treat this case as a treason, citing the fact that his child was in danger. It's because he can execute the Viscount for certain, for certain that way. So execution is in the picture. Viscount Landre is an honest young man. He would never do such a thing for no reason simply because he lost his temper. I know that it's, it's not unforgivable to stab someone even if you're blinded by rage. But he should at least get a trial. So he can explain himself and the jury can take it into consideration. <laughs> that is true. Everyone deserves a trial. You never know. Guilty or not. I was planning to talk to the Viscount anyway. <laughs> I also think there's something that doesn't add up about this incident. Huh? I suspect that it was Rasha who tried to tarnish your reputation. Then are the rumors true? I'll need to ask the Viscount for the details. I can't go and see the Viscount right now as His Majesty is interrogating him. But I imagine that the interrogation will be over soon since he doesn't plan to let him have a trial. I'll go and see him after the interrogation is over, so don't worry. Pass. What's that? Thank you. Thank you, your majesty. <laughs> I was handkerchief. May I hold on to this handkerchief? <laughs> Weird. 
she's gonna okay from my mini experience of reading and watching a lot of like k-dramas and reading mangas and everything usually they would hold something that's valuable to the higher ups and they would be like well the queen says i can do this because she gave me this handkerchief i might be wrong but let's go mm, yes you may even if this count laundry cannot be saved i will make sure i'll re i repay you one day for showing me this kindness no, there's no need to thank me. This is not a debt that needs to be repaid. No, it means a lot to me that you are helping me in my hours of need. May I embrace you, your majesty. Pa huh? That's so hmm that's so sus okay the remarried empress episode 34 his majesty the emperor sentenced viscount landre to death click click approach <coughs> huh your majesty <coughs> stone please accept my sincere apologies your majesty <laughs> he got beaten up I know I should bow to your majesty but I'm having trouble getting up it's fine why is he smiling have the people heard about what that woman did to the duchess I kept shouting it on purpose as I was getting arrested I yelled as loudly as I could so that everyone would hear the truth that's why he kept shouting at Rashta even while he was being dragged away. Now that I think about it, it was a very foolish thing to do. I should have shared all the information that I had gathered instead of going to see her. I lost my temper when I saw her trying to weasel her way out of it. I'm afraid your story has been buried by even bigger news. Huh? It has. How could that, that have happened when it was about the Duchess? It's because news has spread that Rasha is pregnant. No. That can't be true. Pregnant? She's pregnant? No. I can't believe it. Viscount, you will be executed without a trial. <sighs> Look at me. Viscount Landre. Huh? If I thought you were going to die, I wouldn't have told you any of this. Do you understand what I'm getting at? Are you saying there's a way to save me? Are you... Possibly considering exercising your right to grant an imperial pardon. As an empress, I have heard you can grant this pardon up to three times. It's something like that. <sighs> she leans in. Now, what I need you to do is tell me exactly what happened. Huh? I already told his majesty, but no to no avail. Just tell me what happened. While I was tracking down the source of the groundless rumors about the Duchess, I found myself in a village near the temple where the Lord Marius took his own life many years ago. The rumors about the Duchess and Lord Marius was the talk of the entire village. By asking around, I managed to trace back the rumor to several people who had first brought it up. When I spoke to them, they all, they all said exactly the same thing as if they were all reading from the same script. Something didn't feel right about this. Even the truth can get distorted when it's passed on from one person to another. But everyone was saying the same, exact same thing. And it was about something that happened a long, happened long ago at that. What did you do next? 
I asked each person a couple of trick questions. As I expected, they all started saying different things once they didn't have the set answers to fall back on. But that wasn't enough for me to figure out who the mastermind was behind all of this. So I showed them some portrait of high-ranking societies, socialites, show socialites who had been most active in high society lately, and asking the villagers to point out the person that paid them off. It turns out to be Viscount Lotatiu. And that woman was the one who told him to do it. Why do you think it was Rashta? Before Viscount Latatia became associated with that woman, he wasn't accepted by other nobles. But he started becoming better known thanks to his connection with that woman. And now he spends lavishly even though he's poor. Do you have a report of some kind of document that contains all the relevant details? I do. Where is it? It's in one of the drawers in my study. But why do you need the report? Duchess Twania asked me to save you. <sighs> How is she? Please tell me if my action ended up making her even more upset. His love for her is so strong that he feels concerned for her while being even though his own life is at stake. I can't clear your name but I can commute your sentence so you will be banished instead. I'm grateful that you would even try. I can guarantee it. Huh. You should tell me now if you need any items from your house. I'll be sure to pass it on to your butler. Mm. This count of teacher received the stars star of red flames ring from Rashta and sold it to an auction house. Hmm. How did Viscount Landre know that Soveshu gave Rashta the ring? No, that's not important right now. Please commute Viscount Landre's sentence and banish him instead. That is something you should stay out of. Your Majesty, I also feel uneasy about it, but Rasha is pregnant with my child right now. Even if the Viscount didn't intend to, oh, he almost killed my child. Don't you care about why the Viscount did what he did? <laughs> what matters to me is that my child almost died. So if you're here to argue with me about that, you should leave. Fine. Then I guess I'll deal with the matter that Viscount Landre investigated separately in that case. <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you mean you will deal with Viscount Landre's investigation separately? This is a separate matter from the incident that, that posed a threat to your child's life. Your Majesty should deal with Viscount Landre according to the law. And I will deal with Rasha according to the law. To be continued. <gasps> Let's go. What do you mean you deal with her according to the law? With what evidence? He is kind of harsh right now. I have read a report detailing her actions. And just so you know, the law states that the punishment for what Russia did, which was a tarnishing the reputation of a member of high society by spreading false information, is to receive lashes after being tied up. I know you despise Rasha, but how can you side with someone who attempted murder? I suppose in the same way your majesty can side with someone who tried to ruin someone, someone's life with false statement. Empress! So, just, mm. Do you not feel any sympathy for others? I do. That's why I'm trying to save Viscount Landre. May I also ask you a question? Is sympathy the only thing you feel for Rasha? Hmm? What? You constantly tell me I should feel sorry for Rasha. Ugh. Lynch. <sighs> I'll do it on one condition. You said you had a report of her action. Give that to me. 
Don't do it. He's going to rip it up. Don't do it. Mm, I do. I do not trust that man. I'll give it to you after Viscount Laundry has been banished. Smart. She is so smart. <laughs> I hereby commute the sentence of Viscount Laundry. He will be banished instead. Three Married Empress. Episode 35. Stop. I managed to save Viscount Laundry. But it feels like a hollow victory. Rasha actually had the baby. What? So was she in a coma the entire time? Well, Queen is here. Queen? <laughs> huh? Plus, I wanted to give him a hug. I hear that my older brother is in very poor health. I'm worried about him. Do you remember the blue-haired guard? He's my guard, secretary, and cousin. But it seems he also wants to be my nemesis these days. How to get revenge on those who hurt you? One, what if he took a lover who's incredibly good-looking, of high birth, and generally extraordinary? Revenge option two, ask Prince Henry for help. Henry's older brother is a re reigning king of the Western Kingdom. Has his illness become worse? That means Prince Henry will have to go back. Why do you look so upset? Huh? So smooth. Hmm. Mm. Sten, how do you feel about going for a short walk, my queen? His arm is so solid. Does he work out a lot? Does he? <laughs> what is wrong with you, Navier? It's not appropriate to think that way about someone who is escorting you. Are you feeling warm, my queen? Your face is flushed. Yes, a little. Achoo! <laughs> You must be very healthy to be hot in this weather, my queen. I suppose you'll never have to worry about catching a cold. Aww. The letter must have worked out a lot. You must be worried. <laughs> that wasn't what I meant to say. I know. Did you want to know if I work out a lot? No. I wanted to ask you about your brother. <laughs> My brother doesn't exercise very much. Seriously? Oops. I'm sorry, your majesty. He says that his health is worse than before, but it's not severe yet. <clears throat> he's also, he's always been frail. He said yet. Does that mean his brother condition may deteriorate further? Oh, by the way, did you consider my suggestions for ways you could get your revenge? <clears throat> I would recommend option one. You want me to take a lover who's incredibly, incredibly, incredibly good looking or high birth or generally extraordinary. If you're not keen on the idea about a fake lover, did you suggest with Grand Duke Kaufman in mind? What? No. Your description fits the Grand Duke perfectly. I didn't mean him. But who else do I know who is incredibly good-looking of high birth and ex generally extraordinary? Mm. <laughs> mm. Is there really nobody else you know who fits the description? <laughs> I was just joking. So you were? Yes. I don't want to look like I'm cheating with a man I don't even want to by my side. So that's the part you were joking about. <laughs> Why? It's nothing. Huh? 
If I go back to the Western Kingdom, will you miss me? Oh. Uh, I'll miss you. A lot. Oh, I mean it. I'm not leaving right away. She looks so sad. No. It's getting late. Please allow me to walk you back to the main palace. Should I destroy it? Store it somewhere safe for now. I thought he was going to ask for it to be destroyed. Our baby is here, your majesty. Oh. Tell me if there's anything you want to eat or anything you want to have. I'll give you whatever you want. Anything I want? The mother has to be happy in order for the baby to be happy. I thought you were stuck in quicksand, Rasta. That's why I wanted to save you, but I was wrong. I love you, but I don't want to change my life for you. I think that's like Viscount uh, Lotatia's son saying that to her. <laughs> Rasta, are you ill? Should I call for the doctor? No, I'm fine. <laughs> It's just something I've always wanted to hear. That is pretty sad, you know? She was in a very abusive place. I do feel bad for her, that part. Rashta? <laughs> you are my savior, your majesty. <laughs> you have no idea just how much I love you, your majesty. I have returned from Brimwell, but I think the child that Viscount Lotatia is raising is indeed your child. Huh. To be continued. Ooh. Let's go. I think the child that Viscount Lotatia is raising is indeed your child. I don't want to change my life for you. The mother has to be happy in order for the baby to be happy. Did you get a maternity test from the temple? No, but it was obvious it was your baby. It looks just like you. Huh? Uh, she's worried. As I mentioned to you before, I can lend you the money you need. How much can you lend me? As much as you need. Then, can you lend me 1,000 crayons? I'll lend you 10,000 crayons. <laughs> Scribble. Scribble. Okay, close. Here. This is a top tier promise promissory note issued by the bank with the best credit rating in all of wool. Thank you. It's going to become quite tiresome if you keep letting yourself get manipulated like that. So try and think of a way to shake him off. Do you have any ideas on how I could do that? Screw, screw. No. I'm not sure what to do in this situation either. Still, don't be too discouraged. Uh, by the way, aren't you curious to know whether the baby the Viscount is raising is a boy or a girl? Hmm. The Remarried Empress. Episode 36. Your Majesty! The woman j woke up and guess what? His Majesty gifted her a big armchair to celebrate the occasion. I see. And it looks like Duchess Twania is going to divorce Duke Twania. But they couldn't agree on settlement agreement, so they've gone to court to divide their up their assets. Viscount Landre 
was banished yesterday, Your Majesty. By the way, do you remember Viscount Lotatius, Your Majesty? Huh? It seems he is planning to move to the capital. I heard that he wants to live near the palace and has been housing, house hunting. He exposed the truth about Raj's past, but then the two of them colluded to slander Duchess Tawania. And now he wants to move near the palace? Could he be blackmailing Rashta? That's right, I heard the same thing. He's not just looking for a house, he's looking for a nanny too. Is someone in his family about to have a baby? Well, it's not like it's my problem if Rasha's get blackmailed, Rummage. This is... Huh? Isn't that the gift you received on your birthday? What was it called? A love potion, I think. It is. And you haven't opened it yet. Oh my. I thought somebody sent it to me as a joke, but there's a chance it might be real. There's no way this is real. If love potions were real, then we would have heard about them already. Huh? But the world is filled with all sort of weird and wonderful things, Your Majesty. Could it really be effective? You should try using it, Your Majesty. I can't think of anybody I could use it on. Oh. Use it. On His Majesty. Why His Majesty? I'm not sure who sent it, but what could be the reason behind sending it? Does someone feel sorry for me because Russia stole my husband? Or maybe it's just poison? Hmm. Pensive look. Now that I think about it, I'm meeting Grand Duke Kaufman tomorrow to discuss the trade deal. Now that I think about it, I'm meeting Grand Duke Kaufman tomorrow to discuss the trade deal. Huh. <gasps> He may be able to tell me more about, about it since he graduated from the Academy of Magic at the top of his class. The next day, in the small study of the West Palace. Please check whether there are any other nations in HWA besides the one listed Hua, listed here which have all, any products to trade with wool. I think it might be a good idea to think bigger than just focusing on trade between our two nations. We can establish distribution hubs in Hua and Wu and charge a fee on any trade that passes through them. Of course, Your Majesty. Oh, and... I heard that you graduated at the top of your class from the Academy of Magic. Would you mind taking a look at this? Hmm. He's looking at me like that again. Maybe he really does hate me. Or maybe he just dislikes people in general. I don't. Pardon? What is this? I received it as a birthday gift. It said love potion on it. I didn't bring it with me because I think it will work, but it would be rude just to throw it away since it's a gift. Would you mind checking if this item is potentially harmful? I don't know if they are dangerous, dangerous but potions like these are sold on the black market and they are effective to a certain extent. But I've never heard of such a thing. That's because you can't find genuine love potions even on the black market. Let me take a look. Turn. He shakes it, slosh. Hmm. Pop. I think this potion will be somewhat effective. So if someone drinks this, they will feel like they are in love with the first person they see. To be clear, it won't actually make them fall in love with that person. It will result in physical side effects such as an art and elevated heart rate. Hmm. Why don't you use this on Emperor Silvatio? You just need to make sure that your majesty is the first person he sees after he drinks it. No, it's quite all right. <laughs> It seems you don't believe it will work. I'll personally demonstrate it, its effect. No, you don't need to. I have an antidote, so it's all right. Why do you have an antidote? Goodness. 
our eyes met. What? Swing. Empress? I heard you were with Grand Duke Kaufman. Huh? <gasps> Grand Duke Kaufman? <clears throat> Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Why are you facing that way? I'm over here. There's a reason why I can't face you right now, Your Majesty. What brings you here, Your Majesty? Did you come to give me that? Huh? What were you two doing before I arrived? He is refusing to look at me in the eye and you're trying to cover for him. <laughs> were you two kissing or something, Empress? Are his lips swollen from kissing? Huh? What? To be continued. What? <laughs> Why is he crying? <sighs> and that's a wrap. Oh my gosh. Why is he crying? Like, what happened? Like, is he allergic to it? Or, like, what's going on? You know? <laughs> but that is. All the episodes, episode 34 to 36. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> All right, guys. Before we go, I just want to do a quick disclaimer that I do do these webtoon readings just for fun. It is a hobby for me. Um, I do these to pretty much polish up and fix my English because sometimes whenever I get super excited I start to stutter I start to slur my words and also it helps with my pronunciation don't even ask I can actually say that now um this is just all for fun overall I just love the fact that I get to do something fun and you guys enjoy it as well uh, this is for me to bring out my inner child where I can act out these characters and what they're saying and doing. And it means so much to me that I have gained so much love through this. If you guys do enjoy my content, please feel free to subscribe, leave a thumb up, thumbs up, oh, hello, <laughs> and leave a comment. I love reading them. I hope you guys have a wonderful 2022 year please stay safe out there and of course if you guys love this webtoon and want to read ahead you guys are more than welcome to they have an app just type in webtoons and they even have a website where you can read online as well type in the remarried empress and there you go have a wonderful weekend week and i'll see you guys next time